I mean, if you watch us play, like, you can understand I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. The reason I take a lot of damage is because I'm actively always trying to 1v2 people. And uh, that's, uh, that's very, I want to say, a very dangerous way to play. But it works because uh, <clears throat> I my job is to try to go in, get as much damage, kills, anything as possible, right? But I also want to soak up as much damage so Void can actively just try to body people from behind. And I like that because I will survive longer, technically. But because I'm taking so much damage faster, obviously I'm going to die before him, right? My job isn't necessarily to net kills. It's not. I just play as a tank. That's it. That's my goal. It's not my fault that me playing as a tank means sometimes like I'm good enough to actually 1v2 people and win. Or take get the most out of the exchange right and void is always we trust each other so much that he's always ready to follow up if i'm in danger or we know how to maximize a situation as best as we can let's say he's rapid japping someone or you know the forward combo and then he changes it into dare loops i know okay time to get in there and actually stack my dare on top so we can loop them that's how we want i don't know if you guys know like we were down a lot in a certain match versus Sinum and leviathan we did that and brought it back that is literally how we came back. Pause, pause, pause. 90% of you are not subscribed to the channel. While I understand that you don't necessarily have to, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it if you considered subscribing to the channel, especially if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to continuously put out fire videos for all of you in hopes of one day reaching my ultimate goal of 100K subs on YouTube. And once we get to that milestone, we shoot to the heavens, for 1 million and this can only happen with your support so please it's quick it's free and it would make me the happiest person in the world thank you guys so much much love like exchanges like that having that synergy and trusting your partner means the world and that's the basis of what our team composition is literally trust in each other that is the foundation of it and if you don't have synergy well you could stick two good players on a team they'll beat most people but a team that actually has holy shit my cat's going nuts a team that actually has incredible synergy is a team that's always going to be on point on point enough to always bring it back even if they're down and to keep it a buck it's really fun like being able to play with an awkward team like that like come on wonder woman tom and jerry it's weird right <laughs> but we make the most of what we got and it works out for us even against some of the best comps in the game and so when I was saying skill issue, it's just like, well, yeah, we're like, we're really good with our characters. Like we push those characters hard as shit and it pays off. So it's almost like when you're thinking about like tears, and you're just like, man, tears. Oh my God. Like, oh, and I'm always seeing people say Wonder Woman sucks. She's so laggy, blah, 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 blah. From now on, I'm just going to say watch Evo. That's it. <laughs> watch Evo. Wonder Woman's laggy. She can't hit. She can't kill. She can't do this. She can't do that. Watch Evo. So at the end of the day, <clears throat> as much as you want to say it's the character, in most cases, it's you. And until you're ready to accept that and try a lot harder, you're always just going to be saying the same shit. I hate Velma and Bugs. I do. I really do. I think they are out of this world great. They are magical characters. But I just didn't let it stay there. I didn't just let it sit and be, I hate these characters. I was like, oh, I hate these characters. Let me just be that much better than you. And so, <clears throat> with that being said, uh, Void and I don't even communicate that much. Like, when we're practicing, we don't have to talk that much. Because we have that already established synergy from Smash 4. I know my job. He knows his job. If we need to swap roles for some reason, we can also do that. Being flexible is important as hell. Sometimes I need Void to take charge, especially if I'm going to die, like, <laughs> or I know I don't like this matchup. I don't like this character. Create the openings for me or vice versa, right? <clears throat> we literally lost and it was like, all right, what can we do to win this match? Okay, we're going to do this, this, this different. Oh, okay, bet. Let's do it. Uh, he's, he's like, oh, they're really good at killing Jerry. You carry Jerry from now on. I'm going to shoot him only if you're close enough to get him. And then you could give him back to me. They can't kill Jerry. Void continues to be a threat the entire match. And so that's pretty much the dynamic of the team. You know, it's really annoying. <clears throat> Again, this is probably the last time I'm going to speak on this. When you have people that just flock to the 
all-star, right? And they're just giving one person credit when it takes two to tango on a team. And so <clears throat> they'll find any reason to throw all the bad things that happens to the team on one person. Like even in the mirror, J uh, the mirror man Rose Day match, like people were just saying Rose Day sucks. And I'm just like, okay. Like they're literally both getting outplayed, but you're only targeting Rose Jay because Mirror Man has like a better resume. That makes no sense whatsoever. And so to see the switch up when uh, we're succeeding, everything's all great. If we're losing, oh man, the cats. It's just like, all right, cool. Then in Losers Files and Grand, you want to be like, yo, this dude's a god all of a sudden. Like, come on, bro. Feel me? It just makes me understand that a lot of people don't understand teams. They don't or understand what actual skill looks like. They're just straight up, just fucking, um, I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> Did you know that I have a Patreon? You probably didn't. But if you go to the description of this video, you can find the link right there. I have options for a dollar, $5, $10, probably 25, you name it, I got it. And they all come with their exclusive perks and you guys will not only get access to my content earlier, but of course, I will also feature you in the credits of my videos. And I try to give my Patreon a lot of value. So please just give it a chance, take a look at it. And I would love to have a lot more of you guys signed up to the Patreon. Thank you so much for the support. Much love as per usual. Hi, yay, yay. <clears throat> and so, you know, you just got to ignore that to the best of your ability or let it fuel you, right? When I was going off and all that stuff, I didn't care about anything Twitch chat was saying. Like, I didn't give a shit. I only cared about me and my partner in that moment. <clears throat> and everything that came from that was just a byproduct. So we got it done as we should. It was really fun. <laughs> it was very, very fun. It's very fun to watch. I feel like I'm watching like a different player. So it's great. Like the fact I couldn't remember everything was just like, yo. <laughs> so like, come on. LOL, Mirror Man was obviously the better player than him. You're literally a part of the problem. How did you react when Rose swapped to Arya? Did you guys think it'll be easier or what were your reactions? We won. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the sub. We won. That was my reaction. You forced him off of Velma, it's a rat. Okay. Go Arya. You saw what happened. She dies mad early. Like, straight up. She dies too early. I told him. I told Void before. Yo. If he switches straight up, whenever someone is getting laddered, treat it like if it is uh, if it was Bayonetta, right? And just straight up, go. Go after them. And that's what we did. We got to save each other when we're getting comboed like that. But the thing is, is like, despite... Arya having a sword, it doesn't matter that much because her range is, doesn't live up to the length of the sword. So she actually, a lot of times, sadly, has to commit. <laughs> it, it, her spacing has to be on point. And with a game this fast, it's hard to be that consistent in terms of being able to space with a character like that. So it's just like, all right, bet. Cool. Let's stuff her out with hitboxes. Let's body her disadvantage state. And we're going to win. Like... Arya is not a character at this point in the meta right now that can carry you. You have to be an incredibly good player to play that character. Rose Day is an incredibly good Arya player. It was not enough. It wasn't. He should have stayed Velma the whole time. But he switched. And we already knew. Checkmate. Because after a while, you could feel it while playing them. They're just like, yo, we are getting bodied. I'm nervous. Are we actually about to lose this? And so, uh, <clears throat> having competed so long, especially Void 2 and together, we've been in, like, dire situations like this before. So we already had the experience going in knowing, oh my god, this is do or die, right? Control your nerves, focus, and tunnel. I can't say the same for them. So, yeah. There's a lot that goes into it on the mental side. But, uh, when you're watching doubles, guys, just be sure to always remember, like, straight up, in a team's game especially, it takes two to tango, right? Straight up, it takes two. There were times in Smash 4 where Void was playing like shit, and I had to actually pick it up, or I had to get into his head. There were times where I was getting fucked up, and he had to pick it up. 
Then there were times where we just both boost each other Congratulations, up. Congratulations, my man. So proud of how hard you've worked over the past seven plus years to get here. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. So, <clears throat> people will dead ass be like uh, Call of Duty players. Not like pro Call of Duty players, because I don't even know how that works. But they'll just dead ass be like, who got the most kills? Teams is deeper than that. Like, if you're looking at who got the most kills at the end of, like, a match, it's just like, bro, you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> literally, literally. I don't give a fuck if... Dude, I don't care if I have four kills and Void has zero, or vice versa. We're literally creating opportunities. So even if I miss the kill, my partner can get it. Or vice versa, you know? Like, play your role, do what you gotta do, and adjust on the fly. Being able to adapt is mad important. It's mad important. If there was ever advice that I could give you, like in terms of teams, everything I just said, like, please actually try to understand it as much as possible, bro. This shit is facts, man. <clears throat> like, do not treat teams like it's a singles, a single player thing. Like, yeah, you, yeah, kills are not the main factor. You dead ass need to have a plan stick to it and be able to adjust that's it but now nah, that was great it was actually great I'll remember that for the rest of my life we did it <clears throat> we did it hopefully we can do it again so guys that's pretty much like our team dynamic hopefully that uh lets you get into the mind of void cat i'm very proud that we won evo 2022 and uh let's do this shit again let's do this shit again you guys want to see us compete at the next evo let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions regarding my mindset or just anything doubles related be sure to also leave that in the comment section below be sure to subscribe follow me on all my socials hit the metify should be linked in my description along with my patreon which has an option as cheap as a dollar to get access to my content earlier you already know who it is it's the cat and i catch you on the flip side easy peace out deuces